I am forget. If you guys are hey guys what's up so July is sadly coming to an end but you know what that means it is time for my July beauty favorites so I got all my stuff in this little container here and it's about 50 50 with drugstore and high-end products so there is something for every price point in my favorites this month some of these are new that I have just like this month got into loving and then some of them are products that I always love and I just wanted to throw in here in case you're new and don't know what I love, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> Very soon I plan on filming my all-time favorite drugstore products and also my all-time favorite high-end products. So subscribe to my channel if you are interested in watching those so that you don't miss them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first two things that I'm going to talk about are both primers. So the first product that I'm going to be talking about is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So this primer is known to be a dupe for like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, Benefit, Pores, professional the pores no more like all of those this works so well and this is from the drugstore obviously it's about six dollars if I believe I bought this a long time ago but it is super cheap super affordable and it works really really well I go through phases with primers but recently I have been reaching for this all of July so my next primer that I have is actually not a primer it's a global protection day cream is what it says and this is from Ren Clear Skincare, and I wore this in my last tutorial, that was the waterproof makeup tutorial, and this is a protecting day cream, like it said, protects against free radicals and environmental aggression, combats the signs of premature aging, and trains skin to be less sensitive, but whenever I put this on my skin, this actually doesn't have SPF in it, I don't know what it has in it, but it comes out, and it looks like a lotion or something, but whenever you blend it out, it gets like a tacky feel to it almost. So that's why I like to use this as a primer because it really like holds my makeup on and also it protects my skin from free radicals. Whatever that is. The next two things I'm going to talk about are foundations. And obviously I talk about these all the time. I know it's getting old but I swear this is going to be the second to last time I'm going to mention them. Second to last. So the first foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, and you guys know I'm obsessed with these, and I use them all the time. I also like the matte and poreless one, but in the summer especially, and all of July, I've been reaching for the Dewy and Smooth, just because it gives you such a nice, like, summer, like, dewy look to your face. And in the summer, I'm pretty sure almost everyone likes to be really dewy and highlighted, and just, like, glowing and beautiful. And this foundation is really amazing. This is from the drugstore. It's about five, six dollars. Yeah. And this actually does have sunscreen in it. This is SPF 18, which is really nice. So the next foundation is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And this also has SPF 15 in it. And um, this is oil-free makeup, 12-hour makeup. My color is light sand, and it's actually way too light for me, so I need to go back and exchange it. But anyways, this foundation is by no means new, and neither is the other one, but I just love it. I just recently bought it. I've seen it forever, but I've been like... Should I get it? Should I not? And I finally got it this month. Yeah, this is a really, really nice full coverage foundation. I find that it itself kind of like blurs your face. It's really thick. This foundation is more of a cream and the other foundation is more of a liquid. So they're very different, but um, this one has more of a matte finish and that one obviously is very dewy. But yeah, I super, I super love this. <laughs> it is extremely full coverage and I am all about coverage. I ain't trying to mess with no light coverage, BB cream shit. No, I need full coverage. So the next thing that I have is a setting spray and this is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray Cooling and Hydrating. And this is also not new, everyone knows about this, but this is amazing for the summer. Their regular all nighter setting spray is really good, but this is the one that has the chill in it, so this is super nice for the summer. This setting spray is super nice, it's extremely, extremely hot, and you just want your face to feel nice and refreshed, and this, I'm telling you, this. Get a little mini bottle of it. They have the mini bottles at Ulta and Sephora. Get a little mini one and keep it in your bag, keep it in your car, and just spray your face throughout the day. It keeps you so cool. And I love this. 
Then the next couple things I have are powder face products. So the first thing I have here is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, and this is Dolce de Leche. And I hauled this a long time ago, but I have been seriously using it. You can see that I completely hit pan on the highlighting color, and I'm just obsessed with this, guys. This pigmentation is unreal. Like, look at that. Remember, I bought this in the winter, and I was super, super pale, and this white like showed up on me and normally I'm so pale like I can't even find a highlighting shade and this worked for me and it's still working for me now but yeah I have used the crap out of this thing and I really really like it it works really well I've heard a lot of other people on YouTube talk about it and rave about it and yeah I mean I use it on my face literally every day so yeah this is really good this is from the drugstore obviously and it is about six dollars I think so the blush that I have been using almost all of July is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiris. And I used this one in my last tutorial and I love it. It's like a peachy pink color and it has a little bit of shimmer in it and it's not like too, too pigmented. It is here, but like you have to add it up. You have to like, you know, go in a lot, which I really like because the regular Color Icon blushes are so intense that it like scares me to use. But this one is really, really nice, and it's very buildable, but, you know, not too much pigment at first. And I just think this is a really nice and cute, like, summery color. And so I've been reaching for it a lot, especially since it has, like, a little bit of shimmer in it. It looks really nice. And the last face powder product that I have to talk about is my go-to highlight for the summer. This also, not new, none of this stuff is really new, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, this is the Champagne Pop Highlighter from Becca. This is, like, a nice rose peachy gold color. And I think that it is extremely perfect for summer. Whenever I think of summer makeup, every year, I just think of, like, gold and bronze and, like, glowy. And this is exactly that. This is gold and glowy, and it goes perfectly with, like, bronze skin or literally any skin tone. That's why I love this, and I know that's why Jaclyn Hill, like, wanted to make this color. But this is it. If you have not seen it, if you've been living underwater or some shit, like, this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. It is glowy. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can see, but it is so gorgeous, and I just love wearing this in the summer. I don't even think about it. I just grab this one every single day and put it on my face because I love it that much, and it's so beautiful. I'll use it as eyeshadow a lot, inner corner highlight. Like, I just love it. So cute. So the next two things I'm going to be talking about are mascaras, and these are both from the drugstore. One is waterproof and one is not, but it is pretty water resistant, I will say. This is my go-to secret weapon waterproof mascara, and as you saw in my last tutorial, the 100% waterproof makeup tutorial, this is what I used, and this is what I swear by, and I swear I recommend this to everybody, and then they end up thanking me later because it really freaking works. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast waterproof mascara. They do have a regular one that is the same color and everything, so make sure that you get the one that says waterproof on it. And yeah, this is the black one. They also have a brown one, but I like this one. I've tried them both. They both work well, but this one I just am obsessed with. And I wear it all summer because I'm a lifeguard and I like to wear it whenever I am teaching swimming lessons or actually need to be in the water every day. So I love this and I swear by it and you need to go buy it because it's only like $5 or something and it works really well. The other mascara is what I'm wearing today, and this is my new favorite mascara for day to day. It has replaced my Better Than Sex mascara. They don't do the same thing. The Better Than Sex mascara is like very like, makes your lashes very full, and this makes your lashes very long, which I have actually found that I like my lashes to be long rather than full. So um, this is my favorite. I actually got onto this because of Carly Bible here on YouTube. She said that she used to use this all the time in high school, like every single year, and I was like, if you wore something for that long, it must be good. So I went and I got it, and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, and its wand looks like this. It's very long and lengthy, and it's very, I don't know if you can tell, the wand is extremely flexible, and I love it. Like, it literally makes my lashes, like so long really really quickly and I love this and this is only like around five to seven dollars too so I definitely recommend this one so the next two things I have are brow products and they are both from Anastasia Beverly Hills and so they're a little bit on the pricey side but um this is actually I'm pretty sure her cheapest brow product 
I don't know how much the powder is, but this is only $17, I'm pretty sure, and this is the Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown, and it is a, obviously like a moussey gel brow product, and I've been using this, not just of July, I've been using this for the past couple months, ever since I bought it, I hauled it a while back, and I'm obsessed with it, it is 100% waterproof, let me tell you what, I also used this in my last video, the waterproof tutorial, and it does not budge. Like, I wear it whenever I'm lifeguarding and it does not budge. I could be sweating, I could be underwater, and it does not leave my eyebrows. So, definitely recommend this. I love it so much. I've tried a lot of different brow products, but I definitely always keep coming back to this one. And then the other thing is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And this, you know, just looks like a mascara and it is clear and you use it to set your brows. I didn't really need to include this, I don't think, but I think that this combo together works extremely well. And anytime I use this, I use this. So I was just throwing it in here. The next two products that I have are for lips. And the first one is a lip liner and I have talked about this before. I've used it before in a video. But this is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in East End Snob. And this is my favorite lip liner that they have. Rimmel London, by the way, has extremely good quality lip liners. And I highly, highly recommend checking them out if you are in the market for a drugstore lip liner. They're around like five-ish dollars and it is really, really nice. And this is a really pretty pink color that I just love to wear in the summer. In the summer, I absolutely adore wearing pink on my lips. And this is a nice, like, darker pink. I will literally just overline my lips and fill them completely in with this, and I just love it. And the next lip product that I have is actually extremely old, and I hope they still make this. I honestly don't even know, but it is this Victoria's Secret lip gloss. It says Beauty Rush, and it's clear and has a glitter in it, and it is so beautiful. I'm wearing it right now, but I am obsessed with lip gloss in general in the summer. Any lip gloss, I just threw this in because this is what I've actually been using the most even though it's really old. I'm really weird with lip gloss because there's some types of lip gloss that I'm allergic to and I have no idea what it is in the lip glosses that I'm allergic to so I'm always really nervous about trying new glosses and then whenever I find one that I love and I'm not allergic to, I like keep it forever like this one. So I can always keep this in my bag and if I'm in a hurry and like trying to get to work really fast and I didn't put on anything on my lips, sometimes I'll throw this on or sometimes I will throw it on over that lip liner or another lipstick or something like that just to make it really shiny and pretty. So yeah, I really love lip gloss in general in the summer as long as you don't have your hair down and the windows down. So yeah. My very last beauty favorite for this month is this nail polish from OPI. And this is the color Mod About You. This is a really light pale pink color. And I absolutely love like pastel pink and blues and purples for the spring and summer. I just love how they look. They're just so like girly and feminine and they look so cute on like tan skin and I just love it. So I bought this at Target and it was actually on sale. It was only like five dollars I want to say. Five. Normally OPI is like almost nine dollars so that was a pretty good deal and I love this color. So I've already applied this twice to my nails in July and also it's been on my toenails all of July and I love it so much. It looks so good whenever I'm getting tan and I'm obsessed with it. So, so guys that is all of my July beauty favorites. I hope you enjoyed watching and please subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on any videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!